watching and keep it entertaining for them. So, um, you know, we just got to go out there and have fun with it. I know you guys are in the midst of the game and the battle, but the fact that, you know, you have dropped a new policy today and no more boosters and, you know, people that shouldn't be on the sidelines being on the sidelines, how much do you guys appreciate the school doing that for you guys, you know, less um, distractions? It is less distractions, but it's nothing that we ever really paid attention to. Um, maybe if we see some of the alumni, like, you know, re like old players, or maybe we'll go haul at them, but we'll never, you know, <coughs> Do it to a point where we're distracted from the game. So, you know, it's a good policy, but at the same time, it's nothing that we ever paid attention to. So, Corey, uh, last year after the Ohio State game, he took you know full responsibility for the four interceptions. But uh, Coach Shannon at the time blamed uh, Travis for a couple of them. Uh, did you feel bad for Travis after that? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel bad for Travis because I'm the quarterback. I'm the one that delivered the ball. So, whether it's his fault, whether it's the win or something, it's still my fault. And I take full responsibility no matter what. That's my job to get him the ball and deliver it to him the right way. And I didn't get that done. How did you feel like he reacted to that? Because, you know, getting out it like that must have been like, tough for him. Yeah, he, 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 was, he took it pretty tough. Um, me and him talked about it. I didn't know that that was said when Coach Shannon said the statement, but um, that's the pass, and now we're going into this game and we're ready to play. Corey, you've said many times that you, you're at your best when you can have fun, when mm -hmm. you're loose, when you're not feeling pressure or worries or any of that. How are you going to stay fun Friday night in the hotel and Saturday morning leading up to the game? How are you not going to let this moment, like the first home game of your last season, start to get you? Uh, the moment's not going to get to me. It's something that I'm going to. I'm a, you know, really be paying attention to and really like, you know, I'm going to feel it. But at the same time, I understand we got a game to win and uh, I want to go out there and execute on all phases of my game. I just want to make sure I'm focused, make sure I'm paying attention to the little things and uh, get this job done. With both programs having off the field problems, do you feel that maybe some of the luster has washed off this game a little bit? Not at all. Um, you know, this game is still a big game, and of course everybody's going to make it seem like it's the game of the suspended players or something like that, but we're going to go out there, we're going to play our type of game, we're going to play football, and just like Ohio State, we're coming out here to give everybody a show. Did Corey, you know how does the way that you, you get ready for games change? You talked last month about understanding defenses more. Are you watching more tape? Is there any difference in how you prepare for games this year compared to last year? Um, basically, uh, watching more tape and um, just preparing myself mentally. Uh, it hasn't. It's nothing that I'm really uh, that I haven't seen. So I'm able to go out there and just you know look at certain things and be able to you know run the offense the way it is. From Last question, guys. From a mental standpoint, do you just picture? different things that could happen in the game mentally, but I mean, is that something that's different? I feel like I don't know the answer to that question when I'm on the field and when I see the things, because they could easily run different stuff rather than what you've seen on film. So when I get on the film, I'll, adjust, I'll make adjustments based on our offense with what they run. So. Jacory, from what you saw last week, how much of, were you missing that element that Travis brings to, to the team, and how much do you think he's going to want to have an impact, especially after you know what happened last year? Travis week? is someone who makes defenses expand the field. So they, if Travis is on the field, people tend to drop deeper, or they want to double cover him and then leave someone else open. So when those things like that happen, that's when you got to take advantage of them and um, just find the holes, find the weaknesses. And that's where you can get Travis. Travis' impact doesn't have to be just catching the ball or getting reverses or whatever it is. He could just make sure that he runs everything full speed. And to me, he could just run a vertical every play, and he'll be a major impact in the game. So you think he'll okay, be thanks, guys. Motivated. You guys get the camera set up yes, there. Yes, sir. <laughs>